As someone with many, many years of hands-on experience day in and day out with abused, neglected, and abandoned animals, specifically rabbits, I wanted to share how I deal with prior owners or rabbits that have come to me in this state when I cannot speak to the prior owners directly or whoever did this harm to the animals that have been rescued. Working to rehabilitate any animal in need is just not an easy thing to do. If you're someone who's caring and has any compassion at all, you realize that it doesn't matter what the animal's role was in someone's life. Nothing justifies cruelty, abuse, and neglect. When it comes to pet rabbits, there's so much misteaching and misinformation about it. And those of us who work with them day to day, hands on in rehabilitating them, we understand very well why that is. So how do I deal with prior owners who mistreated their once wanted pets? Well, since I've been a writer my entire life, I write them letters. I get to say what I want in a letter with no risk of the person lashing back at me or giving me ridiculous excuses about why they were so heartless to a weak and indefensible animal. And these are letters that I will never send. Here's one letter I wrote recently to a prior rabbit owner. With Easter coming up again, it's a good time to share it. It's been eight years since your child's Easter gift was rescued from her backyard prison. Her fur was matted and her paws were filthy. No one had to say a word about her harsh beginnings. Her body language said it all. I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you were just ignorant, that you did not know you were mistreating her. But that is not true, is it? You did know. You knew your family no longer wanted her before you ever bought that backyard cage. She would have begged you, if she could, not to do it, but you never learned her language. You never learned about her species. You decided she was just a rabbit and that it did not matter how she was treated. As a result, she headed into a year of immense suffering at your hands. You saw the moss growing inside her water bottle as you tossed rotting grass and cheap pellets into her space. You used a garden hose to clean her wire bottom cage with her still in it. She cowered in the corner soaking wet with bits of her own urine soaked feces flying at her. No socialization, no bonded partner, no toys, no veterinary care, no healthy diet or clean water, no fresh hay. Just another unwanted pet forced to live in a hell that you created. The temperatures plummeted below freezing, exposing her to bitter cold with no options for warmth. When the seasons changed, you stayed comfortable in your air-conditioned house. Outdoors, her fur coat insulated her. No way to escape it. No way to cool down. Misery was her companion. Remember that day the neighbors approached you asking if they could help? You should have surrendered her then. Instead, you told them to mind their own business. Before they ever reported you for animal neglect, you knew. What happened after her rescue? You referred to her as just a rabbit. I renamed her Joy. Joy received life-saving veterinary care. She was spayed and given medication for pain and for seizures. Due to health issues that you created, I could not rehome her. She became a cherished part of my family and was bonded with her lifelong partner. They became the best of friends and lived their lives together doing happy rabbit things. This morning, just hours after her partner died, Joy took her last breath. Though Joy's beginnings were difficult, the years that followed were full of love. She became one of my biggest gifts. Your desire to see your small child excited opening a gift does not justify what you did after that holiday ended. It is no secret that small children are also happy to get stuffed animals by those instead. There are no just rabbits. Rabbits are living, breathing, and feeling animals with unique personalities. They have no voice and no choice in what happens to them after the money changes hands. I hope you have learned to be kind in the years that have passed since joy was placed in my care, because kindness matters. Sincerely, the caretaker of your child's Easter gift.